After the raids last night um, in Regina, uh, I'm not too, too concerned that it's going to happen in Saskatoon, um, being two totally different communities. Obviously, I'm a little bit concerned that there is a chance that people would lose out their medicine and, you know, I can be inconvenienced and, you know, the taxpayers' money gets wasted. But at the end of the day, there has been a case in Saskatoon a few years ago and that precedent was set. And, and it turned out to be a complete waste of the people of Saskatoon's uh, taxpayers' money. And um, at the end of the day, it hurt more than helped anybody. They say it's a gray area. I guess the law is black and white. Um, we're in this position because the law has been challenged and won. Some laws are unjust, and these cannabis laws have been unjust and and from great activism throughout the throughout the years by many people um, we're at this point right now and that's one of the reasons why it's it's somewhat of a complete waste of time for for and money for for uh, for anybody to uh, to be raiding raiding dispensaries at this point in time especially when statistics show that that these charges get dropped um, I think that they should just let the civil process um, sort it out